the program uh, in uh, Quant Methods uh, is beginning right this very minute. Uh, we're speaking in October of 2014. The program was just approved earlier this year, and so we're recruiting our beginning class right now to begin in uh, the fall semester in August of 2015. We're looking to recruit around four to six students for our first cohort, and we're hoping to have a couple of cohorts to, to build the program. Uh, and then following that, ultimately, we expect to have around eight to ten uh, in each cohort. So we think we'll have uh, approximately 20 or so students on an ongoing basis within the program. Uh, some of those coming in, some of those in process, and a few of those maybe lingering a bit as they uh, they finish their coursework, uh, although we think that most students really can finish this in two years. So uh, so over the, the next several years, we'll be bringing the program up, but right this very minute, we're very eager to recruit excellent students, and it's an exciting opportunity for a student. Uh, there are many unique features of the Quantitative Methods program at Vanderbilt. Uh, it's an excellent program. It's vibrant. It's exciting. It's collegial. Uh, it's a large program. It's also high quality, so there are all those different factors to recommend it to students. The students who might be considering the quantitative methods masters in education are uh, excellent students uh, who will be looking for the kind of faculty that we have. Uh, we have some of the best researchers in the world in a number of different areas within quantitative methods. We have some of the best teachers in the world at teaching this material. And I'll say this several times during this discussion, a particular importance is that we have a group of people who work together very well, who integrate their thinking, who integrate their efforts, who both teach and research as a team. The Masters in Education curriculum starts in the fall. It's actually a cohort model, and we're expecting students to begin the program in the fall. It's designed not just in theory, but in practical application to be a two-year program. So it begins in the fall, it runs through that full two semester year. There can be some summer involvement during the intervening summer. Then the following year there's a full involvement in coursework and activities. And then either during the fourth semester or in the summer there's an internship. The coursework requires 32 hours of hands-on academic training. Two of those hours are a research forum that students in the Quant Methods program are involved in. The other 30 hours are 10 different three-hour courses devoted to quant methods. Actually, one of those can be a, a content course outside of the area of quantitative methods, and one of them can be a, a quant methods course outside of our department. But the majority of those uh, are courses in statistical areas, uh, design, measurement, um, evaluation, uh, graphical presentation, software development, and so on and so on from within our department. The, uh, uh, the, the 30 hours of coursework, the first six of those are the required stat uh, course that uh, happens in the first and the second semester. Uh, in addition, the uh, other eight courses are ones that the student can design uh, in consultation with their advisor. Uh, a lot of the courses will be fairly standard, but there's some flexibility for students to pursue their own, their own interests within the area of quant methods and take courses that match their uh, degree goals and their professional uh, um, uh, activity that they want to follow when they're completed. The kind of student that will thrive in the QM Masters in Education program has both talent and commitment to work hard. The talent is of a certain variety. I think we're all aware that the field of statistics and mathematics and quantitative methods can intimidate some students, and at the same time there are other students who are just as exciting, find it as exciting an area as it possibly can be. I certainly was one of those. Um, I was a math major and I didn't ever want to do anything else, and I know many students are in the same boat. So if, if you're a student who runs into math classes um, and says, oh, I really don't like that at all, or if you're a student who comes to a stat class and says, that doesn't seem much fun, this probably isn't the program for you. Quite realistically, many students out there who aren't math majors still have excellent quantitative skills. And so we're not just recruiting math majors and stat majors. We're recruiting psychology and education and sociology and political science majors who have good talent in quantitative methods. So it's a prerequisite for this program that you be uh, talented and able to think quantitatively. But then we'll train you. Uh, if you don't have the quant background uh, from formal mathematics, we'll uh, plan that into the training activity. Um, and so the other 
side of it, in addition to the talent, students need to be willing to work hard in a two-year program to, uh, to train a whole lot over the course of those two years to prepare them for the job market, and we take that, uh, that very seriously. So we expect students to come into the program and, uh, and smile first and then hunker down and say, it's time to get to work, and they'll work with their cohort, they'll work with the faculty. Um, the, uh, uh, the research opportunities will be pretty much marbled into the classes. There are lots and lots of uh, research applications that we include in our classes. The students who complete an MED in Quantitative Methods at Vanderbilt have a broad possibility of options laid out before them when they complete the program. The options include medical settings, they include educational settings, they include business settings, they especially include settings in school public and private educational research arenas. The kinds of students who complete an MED will be highly trained uh, in the research enterprise in a number of different areas within that enterprise, and they can take that on the market. The market is wide open right now. It's one of the best markets in the country. Uh, quite a few different settings have identified quantitative methods, statistics, design as areas that are growth industries, uh, not just within medical research, although including that, not just within educational research, including that in many, many other areas, not the least of which uh, um, is related to the No Child Left Behind legislation, which has created a, a real growth industry in my field. So, uh, so our quantitative methods specialists at Vanderbilt um, are very uh, attuned to the job market and are interested in placing students in excellent positions coming out of this program.